Well, it is going to be a, a big challenge for our group, but it's exciting to see how they're going to react to it. Um, it's a good opportunity for a lot of the players uh, to put their best foot forward in, in postseason play. A lot of them haven't had that opportunity before, and it's exciting for our fan base to see playoff hockey in Toronto again. The idea of, of Phil Kessel choosing not to come out here on the day, or day two days before a playoff series against the team he was traded for, I wonder as to why that would be at A and B, why you would allow that. Well, that's the first I've heard of it, and I just walked in here maybe 30 seconds ago. So uh, um, that's, a, that's the first I've heard of it was when I came in here, and, and we'll deal with that internally. Your thoughts on that, then? Our players will be available on a going forward basis. What uh, do you expect from Phil in this series? I expect him to play as hard as he can, just like we expect every other player. I don't think this isn't about, and I know it's going to be made out to be, uh, about Phil against Boston or Phil against Char. That's not the way that uh, playoff series are played. It's going to be a team against team. He's a big part of our team. Um, I know he's probably uh, uh, excited about trying to go there and play as hard as he can. Uh, he's had a, a good season for us, and we expect that to continue. But again, it's... This isn't about one player against another organization. This is about our group uh, preparing to play a team that isn't too far removed from winning a cup. You guys are going in as underdogs, and uh, I wonder if that's a, a good thing for this team uh, as to how young it is. I, I don't think it's a bad thing. I, I, again, I, I think again, we're, we're playing against an exceptional hockey team that's very well coached and is very deep. It's a good challenge and a measuring stick for, for our group. Um, that's, I think, how we have to approach it. Uh, I think any team uh, in this league now uh, can compete with any other team. And, and I think we have to go with that mindset that we're, we're able to compete with that group and play as hard as we can and see what happens at the end of the day. What were the reactions from you when you found out it was Boston and not Montreal? Uh, well, I watched the game, so <laughs> it wasn't, didn't take long to, f to figure it out. But uh, it, it, uh, like for me, it, it, didn't, it really didn't matter. I, I think there's a lot made about, about who we were playing. Um, and any team that we were going to face was going to be a quality team. I mean, Montreal, people talk about them like they were going to be a pushover. That's a team that now just won the division with probably, the, in my opinion, one of the best goalies, if not the best goalie in, in the league. So that wasn't going to be an, a, an easy series. This series we're looking at is going to be uh, as equally as difficult. And again, with a, again, a well-managed, well-coached, and incredibly deep team. It's, it's a big challenge for our group, but it's one I think they should, they should embrace and enjoy and, and go hard at. For as well as, as Phil has played and for as well as Dion's played this year, there's this strange undercurrent in this city about they, they never seem to meet people's expectations, the external, not the internal. Um, do you think it's a, it's a really important time for those two guys to, to kind of do something in, in Toronto they've never done before? Well, I don't know if there's they have to do anything extra. I think that they have to continue to provide what they've given us uh, this year, which I, I think both those players have been excellent. I think most people that watch our team would say the same thing, that they've been a big part of our success uh, for different reasons. You know, I think Dion's played a lot of minutes. He's, I think he's kept things a lot more simple uh, than he had in the past. He's been better, I think, with our group in terms of leading them. I think Phil's been a much better two-way player than we've ever seen him uh, in the past. They've done things that we've asked them to do. So I'm not certain we need to see more of them, but we need to we need to see it continue. And I think people, you know, as much as you might have that undercurrent that uh, you expect more of them, I think most people in Toronto, uh, especially those that are that are Leaf fans, appreciate what they've done this year. Steve, a lot is going to be made about the track record of the Leafs against Boston over the last couple of years, but do you get a sense that your team has played some of its best hockey against Boston this year? I don't think track records mean a whole lot right now. Um, <clears throat> I, I think how you're playing and how you've played them, uh, I, I, would, I would say that we've played them this year as hard as we have in the last four. Um, you know, we, we were competitive in every game. I think all the games were generally pretty good. Um, and, and that's kind of what you have to base uh, our play on going forward. And then you just have to prepare for them. Um, but. If you look at some of the other series, there's a, I think there's a couple that were sweeps in the regular season. I can probably tell you that's not going to happen. I mean, I think playoffs are a different time and it's a different animal. And you know, again, we just we're thankful for the opportunity, and I think it's important that our players just prepare for a very good opponent. How much do you like where uh, Reimer's game is right now? Uh, I like it a lot, but he's again, he's in the same boat. You know, he's had um, he's had some playoff experience at different levels. 
but this is going to be a, you know, this is a new territory for a number of players, and I think, you know, obviously James is, is one of those guys. He's played very well. He's been consistent. We have had some important games down the stretch that we had to get points, and uh, he was a big reason that we did get points. So I think he's prepared himself well for the challenge of the postseason. Um, but I think for a lot of guys, it's going to be a, it's going to be different, and in how they approach it and how they tackle it's going to be um, uh, it'll be interesting for us to see. You guys are going into you guys are going into the playoffs not exactly on a high, and Boston's going into the playoffs not exactly on a high. Is it almost a matter of which team finds its game first? I think both teams are going to find their game. Yeah, I don't think this is one where you're, where it's you're going to see both teams stumbling through it. I would expect and hope that both teams are going to play well. I. I think um, uh, there's different reasons that that teams have periods where they're not great. Um, you know, I think you could both teams could list those right now. It, it's going to be irrelevant once we get once we get to, to Wednesday. Uh, I think both teams will be prepared, and and it's the intensity will pick up and the level of play will pick up. Do you see your team as the underdog in this series? Well, I think just based on on experience and you know, again that they're where their team is at. They're not too far removed from a cup. They finished ahead of us, all those things. I think you'd have to say that that makes us the underdog. I don't think that that means anything. You know, you can you can term a team the underdog, but you have to play the games, and, and whatever is going to happen is going to happen. We have to prepare uh, as well as we can each and every night, and um, I know the coaching staff will do that, and then we'll see where we are after after seven games.